Hey, what is up you guys? Um, today is such an interesting day uh, and we managed to actually go and snag all the Subaru parts and found ourselves in a junkyard and there's a bunch of random cars and a bunch of Subarus and they're just trying to find a bunch of parts. Um, and I think I scored some OEM rusty wheels that I can pick up for cheap to throw on the Subi for now, um, just while we're fixing it. But there is a lot of really, really cool stuff here. There is so much stuff here, but honestly, I'm just super excited that we got the parts that I needed. And um, I'm just gonna keep looking around for more stuff and just see if I can even stack some stuff for the Miata or the Z. You know, literally anything helps, so. So we actually just got back not too long ago from Sligo with all the parts and they were super, super, super nice. Um, they actually gave us extra on both of the rails um, to be able to actually like bend that in and just ram it right in there before we actually trim. So it's actually really nice. And um, yeah, they just really absolutely hooked us up. Um, they gave me the mirror. Um, honestly, the doors are in really, really good condition. That one has a little dent right on the feature line. But even looking straight down these doors, it's so much better condition than what I had. And I'll, I'll do a direct comparison because this is going to be like the little, you know, putting the Subi together series. But um, yeah, those are beyond repairing. And um, if I was bored enough, I mean, obviously it can repair it. But Jesus, that that's real bad. That whole thing's wavy, both crammed in and dog legs. So might as well just start fresh and repair it or replace everything, um, especially for the price. Actually, they get managed to find a bumper that was um, from an O2 as well. But yeah, being lucky enough to find one of these bumpers, um, I'm just really glad that it actually does manage to go right up to it and look really nice too. So um, I had it up there like just super jank. There's not even mounting points right now. But um, regardless, I'm just really excited to start this mini series and um, pretty much just take you guys with me on repairing this car from uh, when it was actually hit. And um, I mean, going from uh, where we left off last time, I don't even think I told you guys, but I um, managed to actually undercoat the entire underside of the Subi, so it actually is just completely black under there and looks pretty good. So, and same thing with the engine bay, completely redid that as well as retaping the wiring harness all up so it looks really nice. So everything's pretty, pretty clean and um, just pretty taken care of. So it's really not that bad, but um, literally everything is clean. So more or less with a clean slate and I'm um, cleaning all of that stuff up and surface rust and um, painting it, priming it, painting it, and then I'm um, taking care of it. Uh, I'm really excited to see where this car can go. And um, I really think it's gonna be really cool to uh, just prop the camera up and just let me and my dad work on it. So um, I'll just take you guys with me. Genuinely, I think getting this thing prepped and uh, rust free is definitely the way to go before it goes back into the car. Um, but uh, I have to make a patch for the bottom, which is no big deal. But um, it's getting grinded down pretty well.
genuinely it's really coming together and it looks like a normal part again and um i'm excited to prime it and paint it and put it on that thing like i said earlier but um there's just a lot of work that goes into grinding it That thing's ready to get seam sealed for sure. I feel like this is a super nice way to take a break and get my mind off things. Oh, shitty. But um, anyways, uh, I'm just like really hyped that I actually got all the parts today. I feel like I've been waiting for those for a really long time. Uh, maybe try to put it in tonight or tomorrow or this weekend and um, just get some progress going. It's already got the other doors, so just gotta put them in. I'm just hyped. I'm sorry that today's video was literally all over the place, but to be completely honest with you guys, um, my phone had like zero battery, so, but regardless, I tried my best to get part one of Subi Series out today, and, um, well, honestly, I think we made some really good headway, uh, got that completely prepped up and ready to get primed tomorrow, and, um, there's a lot more surface rust than we thought on it, but, um, it still came out really nice, and it almost makes you think that when this Subaru was hit, like, you can see how the old firm rails actually are, and you can see that this one's not pinched here, but this one absolutely is. So it almost looks like both either went out slightly a little bit while that one went up or while that one went up, that one also pinched out. So it's just, it's really interesting. We're just gonna take this day by day. And um, I honestly hope you guys really stick around to uh, see the rest of the Subaru series. And um, I'm so thankful for all of you guys and I couldn't, I wouldn't be doing this without any of you guys. Regardless, uh, I hope you guys liked what you saw today. And um, honestly, I'm just trying to get more used to uh, bringing this camera with me. And I'm extremely thankful for Sligo for hooking us up with a really, really good deal. And um, I mean, I did have to wait for a little bit, don't get me wrong, but um, I will absolutely use uh, every single one of these parts. And um, like I said earlier, they are in good condition. So um, it's just dirt. So um, I'm just excited to see where this goes. And um, it did take a while to actually get that all ground up and um i'll just check back in tomorrow with you guys uh when we go to uh actually spray it prime it and then um paint it so um i'll just see you guys in the next one peace